Rahul, can you enlighten brothers and sisters how to structure their questions? Wadu, yes. So I've kind of said that, and that's I think a good place to leave it today. Really, like think about your question. Um, you may have to rephrase it a couple of times because, like, if I'm going to ask a question, I ask it, and then I think. And if you think about it, you might get the answer and then you'll be like, okay, that's not really what I wanted to ask. So you kind of rephrase it until you get to a point where your question is very straight and direct on what you really want to know. Try not to ramble on. Try not to just, like I said before, you're, you're asking a question, but you're commenting on it at the same time. Or sometimes you're trying to answer it yourself, which kind of defeats the object, because if you know the answer, then you wouldn't be asking the question. So make your question very specific. And um, yeah, just to leave, as I said, like when you step up and put your face towards Sabat and, you know, be on social media, you know, like you have to be prepared for negative and positive because you will get, you will get attacked. You will get all kinds of things coming at you. How do I know this? Because if you look at all the people that step up to deal with positivity, to deal with truth, even down to Terence Howard um, recently, or even people like Andrew Tate, um, Terence Howard coming with this new information, like debunking old information, the first thing was to ridicule him um, in the past, whether it was Markham X, Martin Luther King, Noble Drew Ali, and our master teacher, what do they do? They ridicule, oh, you're, you're talking about extraterrestrials, you must be crazy. They trump up charges, um, they will slander you, and if, if possible, imprison you. Or if, you know, Andrew Tate, he went through this. And what Andrew Tate was teaching in terms of motivation, motivating young men to take responsibility, to be able to be like, I'm going to be successful, I'm going to train, I'm going to work. And, you know, that's a good message for young men. Um, obviously, you can't go to the extremes because... You know, there's a lot of people started saying he's a misogynist and this kind of thing. But um, ultimately, you know, the powers that be that are pushing wrong information, they will be afraid of all about They will be afraid of right knowledge. And all they can do is attack you personally. Um, the thing is, every person who goes out to teach already kind of knows the trajectory in terms of you're going to go up against some negative forces. You're going to go up against people who want to shut Wusabat down, that want to discredit you, that want to make you look like you're the crazy one. But in reality, the truth always prevails and the master teacher will be released. Andrew Tate, you know, he went through his thing. Obviously, um, I'm not like here to push or promote anybody. I'm just talking in general terms. And so you have to know that, you know, this, this comes, the territory is going to come with positive and negative. But the thing is, even if they go as far as taking your life, like some of the leaders in the past um, who were here for humanity, who were teaching, Martin Luther King was teaching about let's all come together, love and unity. Um, Malcolm X, on the other hand, was a little bit more radical and he was teaching, you know, we need to take, you know, we need to solve this problem of, you know, injustices and stuff like that. Um, both of them, one was radical, one was a bit more passive but they both still got assassinated. Um, so what I'm basically saying is, you kind of know that from the get-go, what comes, the territory that comes with it. And even when your life is taken, you just, you've raised, you've done so much good work in terms of, for humanity, that you're still gonna exist on the other side and still helping, you know? So um, yeah, when you, when you step up to teach and change the status quo or bring about right knowledge, right wisdom, um, you know, get rid of the lies, etc., etc. You're going to get attacked, you know, you will be attacked. So um, just answering and leaving that question to say, like, think about the question, think about the answers, because this is ultimately about good and evil, Armageddon, Jihad, which is the war between good and bad or negative and positive. And that don't mean that you should be going, you know, to war, because we don't deal with violence and trying to harm anybody it's all about truth and that's it like share the truth with everyone and the truth has been suppressed for so long and now Wusabat is here if you want to learn more subscribe to OSM Vision ask your questions like them so that the next episode we get your question answered okay so 
I want to thank everyone uh, for your questions. And until next week, peace, love and unity. Wadu.